So okay guys, I'm just gonna jump right into this and say I lost most of my recordings here so forgive me, this isn't gonna be a full build video, however this video is gonna be more or less a really in detailed guide and I hopefully can help you out by the end of this video. But yeah, with that said, to put together this flight stick, it's fairly simple. All I did was open up the bottom of it and denote the components inside. And from there, I essentially just googled how to hook this up to an Arduino and I figured it all out. Now, as of the buttons inside the Arduino, it's basically the same process as I did with my Arduino button box project. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch that video because this that video will greatly help you out when it comes to converting one of these old flight sticks for use on a modern system. But yeah, with that said, as it comes to the potentiometers inside, that was a whole new ball game for me. I have never messed with those on an Arduino. However, I did it pretty much first go and overall it's a pretty simple thing to do. All you really gotta do is provide 5 volts to the potentiometer on one of the legs, then on the middle of the leg, you want to wire up a wire right to your Arduino to the analog input on whatever Arduino you're using. In my case, I'm using a Arduino Pro Micro. However, if you're not using that, as long as your Arduino supports analog inputs, you should be fine. Just note that if your uh, potentiometer doesn't have a ses sensitivity adjustment such as mine does, you will have to wire in a 120 ohm resistor, I believe, in order to get it to work properly. But yeah, with that said, there is another leg yet on the potentiometer. All you do from there is you just ground it to the ground of the Arduino, and that's pretty much done. Now, you just repeat that process again with the other potentiometer, and you should be good to go. The hardest part of this is done. All you have to do is just go into the software, program the Arduino, and test it out. If you got the... The potentiometer's wired up backwards, don't worry, you don't have to take the whole thing apart to fix it, just change the Arduino sketch code, and then reflash it, and it should be working the way it should. But yeah, with that said, I unfortunate I fortunately didn't have to go through that, so it all worked good first go. However, I didn't get one of the buttons wired up correctly, or I should say I didn't solder it on right and it came loose, I guess, when I put it together. So one of the buttons doesn't work as of right now. I will have to open it up again later to fix it. But yeah, overall with the whole week I've been using this thing, it's been working pretty good. It works good in just about every game I throw at it, even in the oldest of games and even in the newest of games. And speaking of the oldest of games, you may be wondering why I kept the old connection on. That's in case I ever get an older system I can use this on with it, but which will probably never happen, but I thought I'd like to keep the connection there just in case. And speaking of the old connection this flight stick had, it does however have a converter you can buy to convert it to USB online without soldering into the device and or opening it up. However, since it costed more to do than it would just to be putting it together, I decided just to open mine up and put an Arduino in. It's essentially the same thing and it can even yield a nicer result in the end. And one last thing before I go and lead today's video off, you may have noticed that I used an Arduino Pro Micro and you may be asking yourself why would I need that many inputs just for this one thing? Well, I plan on expanding, in the, expanding the joystick in the future, maybe adding some more buttons to it, and perhaps maybe adding in a rumble motor. That way when I'm pulling the stick back too hard it can actually give you some force feedback. However, since I don't got anything like that right now, I just decided to throw it in and future-proof this. That way I can do it in the future if I ever get the components. But yeah, with that said, that's pretty much it for today's video, and I don't want to waste any of your guys' time. I, if I find out what happened to my old recordings, I will upload those in a separate video and show you guys how this thing was put together in real time. But if I can't find it, I'm sorry. But yeah, with that said, like I said a few minutes ago, I'm going to leave this off here now. DTPK signing off. Peace. Come on. Just take one bullet. Go down. I think he's going down. But in the end, it all worked out and everything seems to function pretty good. Now, like I said at the start of the...